Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Official, Lisandro Martinez signs for Man United. Man United have agreed a 57 million deal with Ajax for Lisandro Martinez. Lisandro Martinez will sign a five-year contract worth over £120,000 a week with an option of an extra year. By the way, Lisandro Martinez has not yet had his medical Uh, the terms need to be finalised and the visa needs to be sorted out. So Lisandro Martinez is the third signing of the summer and he's the third signing of the Eric Ten Hag era. Uh, Lisandro Martinez was at Ajax for around three years or so. He played 120 games. Martinez is predominantly a defender, but he can be deployed as a midfielder. So that's the news on him. Not so long ago, Manchester United signed Christian Eriksen on a three-year contract. Uh, Man United got Christian Eriksen on a free transfer. At the second half of last season, Christian Eriksen had a loan spell with Brentford. When he officially signed for Brentford back in January, he did sign a six month contract before Christine Eriksen was at Inter Milan. Before he played for Tottenham, he was a long serving player at Tottenham. Eriksen is proven in the Premier League, which is beneficial, and when Eriksen was younger, he played for Ajax. He began his playing career at Ajax. Revert back to the Euros, Christine Eriksen collapsed because he suffered a cardiac arrest. And a lot of people are saying that Ericsson's not going to be the same player since he had that cardiac arrest. Uh, not so long ago, Manchester United signed Tyrell Malaysia from Feyenoord. Man United got him for £13 million. Uh, Terrell Malaysia did sign a contract until 2026 as an option to extend for the further year. Terrell Malaysia is a left back, so you can say he is the replacement for Alex Tellez. I'd say Alex Tellez is now on his way out of the club. Uh, revert back to Terrell Malaysia, though, he came on and made his debut in the 4 0 win against Liverpool in Bangkok. As you all know, Man United are still trying to get Frankie de Jong from. Barcelona. Now, like I updated you earlier on today, it said Man United target Frankie Dion is reluctant to leave Barcelona. He's gone on pre season tour with Barcelona. Revert back to the other day, Fabrizio Romano did say that Man United and Barcelona had reached a full agreement. For midfielder Frankie Dion, he mentioned that an 85 million euro fee had been agreed. Uh, Man United staff have already been in Barcelona over pushing through a deal for Dion. Not so long ago, Dion and his agent were very angry with Barcelona. Um, Eric Ten Hag wants to reunite with the player. Uh, Ten Hag worked with him when he was at Ajax. Uh, Frankie Dion's been at Barcelona since 2019. He's got a contract with them until 2026. 
Barcelona did get him for my acts. They paid around £65 million. Dion is a versatile midfielder. As you all know, uh, Manchester United are interested in signing Brentford striker Ivan Toney to replace Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, quite a few clubs are in for Ivan Toney. Ivan Toney is probably the best player Brentford have got. He's a prolific goal scorer. He's made around 78 appearances in the Premier League for Brentford. He's been at Brentford since 2020. He's got a contract with Brentford until 2025. Brentford got him from Peterborough. They got him for around £10 million with add-ons included. Uh, Ivan Tony's had loan spells before uh, with Scunthorpe. He endured two loan spells with them. He had two loan spells with Barnsley. He's been on loan before with Shrewsbury and Wigan. So there you go. And when he was younger, he played for Newcastle and he also played for Northampton. He began his career at Northampton. But yeah, uh, Man United are now making progress in this transfer window. You know, Eric Ten Hag seems to be getting the players he wants to recommend in. Uh, we've seen, obviously, players leave Manchester United this year. Um, not so long ago, Andres Pereira left Man United to go to Fulham. Not so long ago, Dean Henderson went out on loan to Nottingham Forest. Earlier on this year, we saw Lee Grant retire. Matic left Manchester United, he went to Roma. Matic is now reuniting with Jose Mourinho. Not so long ago, Paul Pogba left Man United on a free transfer. Paul Pogba um, has gone back to Juventus. Lingard left the club. Juan Mata also left Manchester United. And Edison Cavani left earlier on this year. And more players are on their way out of the club. Like I said earlier on, I think Telez is on his way out of the club. I think Jones is leaving this year. Um, I think Tawan Zebe is leaving. Uh, Dalon and Wan Bissaka could be leaving. Um, I think Fred and Lindelof could leave next year. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo could still leave the club. I don't think he'll leave this year because he'll want to play under Ten Hag. Uh, not so long ago, Ten Hag said that Cristiano Ronaldo is in our plans for the new season and isn't for sale. Um, not so long ago, though, Ronaldo told Man United he wanted to leave this summer as he was unhappy over the lack of progress with transfers, but at that point, Man United did insist he wasn't for sale. Ronaldo's missed Man United's first two pre-season games due to family reasons. And not so long ago, he missed quite a few days of training because of the family issues. I think Harry Maguire and Eric Bailly could be leaving as well next year. Uh, Man United could still sell Anthony Martial. Martial's enjoyed a good start to pre-season. He scored two goals in our first two pre-season games. He scored in the 4-1 win against Melbourne victory. And he scored in the 4-0 win against Liverpool in Bangkok. Don't forget last season, Martial was out on loan with Sevilla. So there you go. Um, Eric Ten Hag has enjoyed a good start to his managerial career at Manchester United. Um, Eric Ten Hag has won his first two pre-season games. Um, and I've said, you know, I've got a lot of faith in Ten Hag. I think he can make Man United competitive again. You know, this is the first time Ten Hag is managing in the Premier League and the Premier League is totally contrasted to the Dutch League. Uh, Ten Hag is still inheriting some deadwood. 
Uh, you've got to admire what Tenag did when he was at Ajax, because when he was at Ajax, he won Eredivisie titles, he won Dutch Cups. Revert back to 2019, he got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals, and he developed the young players as well. Tenag was the Ajax manager for around five years. Before, he managed Utrecht, Bayern Munich's reserves and go ahead Eagles. You know, Tenag is Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. As you all know, Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren are working alongside Tenag. Uh, like I've said to you, I hate the way the football club has been run for a long time and for a while the vast majority of Man United fans were protesting against the Glazers. Because I said the Glazers have been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. With that back to earlier on this year, the Glazers taken out £11 million for dividends. The Glazers have owned Man United for around 17 years. They bought the club for 500 million back in 2005. Uh, like I said, we've got Richard Arnold and John Murtaugh at Man United. To be fair, they've done good transfer business so far. You know, Richard Arnold is Man United's CEO. He actually replaced Ed Woodward. We made the right decision. Uh, letting Woodward leave because Woodward was one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. Woodward was Man United's chairman for around 17 years. Um, and John Murtaugh, you know, he's Man United's director of football and we'd certainly made the right decision getting a director of football in because I did mention that's one of the structural changes that we needed at the club. Uh, the managers that have left since Ferguson, obviously Man United got rid of David Moyes. After like nine or ten months, he enjoyed a short managerial tenure at Man United. And then obviously we got rid of Van Gaal. We had Van Gaal for around two years. We won the FA Cup under him. And then after Van Gaal, we had Mourinho. Man United sacked Jose Mourinho after two and a half years. Mourinho did win three trophies in his first season as the United manager, so you can see he did have one good season. After Mourinho, we had Solskjaer, we got rid of him after almost three years in charge. And earlier on this year, we saw Ralph Rangnick leave Manchester United. So there you go. In the last ten years or so, Man United have spent over £1 billion. Man United have only won, what, four trophies in the last ten years. As things stand, we've not won a trophy for five years but there again you know with Man United winning that Bangkok Cup against Liverpool they're saying it's ended our trophy drought I wouldn't really count that I'd still say you know it's five years since we last won a trophy well the last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013 so anyway guys on my next video I'll be giving you a preview for Man United's game against Crystal Palace um, it's a pre-season friendly, it's at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, so join me for that. So anyway guys, take care, God bless and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.